Mandaway was referred to the clinic where I was working at that time, Northside Clinic, for treatment of his alcohol problem. I think he described drinking between one and four cartons every single day. It's quite a phenomenal amount. Well, as part of the um, assessment, we do a routine blood screen, and that routine blood screen indicated to us that his kidneys had failed. Work out the next steps for you. We think he's got a kidney disease is due to his diabetes and high blood pressure, which would have been there for some years before being identified. I wish I had a manager, yeah. but yeah. I've got to be a rock star first yeah. to get one, eh? That's right. <laughs> Man always struggled with alcohol dependence, and indeed that's how this issue was identified. But alcohol doesn't cause kidney disease. Alcohol dependence, however, makes it very hard to have your other health concerns managed well. And do you remember I said, how long I thought it would take to learn. You could Teaching even... Mandawoy how to do his own dialysis didn't work. If you're not finished learning in six months, we'll have to give that space to someone else. Right? It became clear that Mandawoy was fairly sick and his ability to learn was a bit limited because he was so run down. His wife, Yalme, came and uh, effectively took over doing his dialysis for him. Now you've got to be very careful with that tape because as you're pulling it off, yeah. the needle can... When Mandawoy got home, he had dialysis by popping up to the hospital some 25 kilometres away at the Gove Hospital. This created some challenges. The competition between a large family for one motor vehicle. And if the motor vehicle wasn't there, well, he was stumped. Unfortunately, that led to a point where September last year, um, he ended up aeromedded in, in a state of medical emergency into Darwin after having missed two sessions and, and then something went wrong and he was on the verge of a, a heart attack. One day he came home and said, no, I'm not going. I'm getting sick and tired of dialysis. I'm not going. And the way he said to me, it was, um, he had this serious look on his face. Yeah? And it made me worried. Oh, it feels good. Yeah, so I just gotta get used to playing it again. No, but it's, uh, it's good to have a guitar in my hands and my arms. I've seen him for a couple of years and then he wanted to be to get on the stage and let's rock and roll and by but couldn't, you know, but I'd like to see him you know, me and him to get back on the stage and and, and perform again to the people and to the world. Try the Romero. I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> <laughs> to perform is something, a medicine for him. A bit nervous, but uh, put on my power here, and I'll be right. Hope this is gonna give me the confidence to sing properly. He's nervous, it's been a long time, yeah. It's his night, and he can go however he wants, but I'm sure he's gonna do well, what he always does, which is do amazing things. So it's going to be a good night. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, big welcome to Yoto Yindi. Thank you, everyone. That's good. 
Yes, I'm really glad that we uh, performed the performance right. I thought I was going to be nervous, but I did well. <laughs> Will Yothi Indy make any more music? I hope the answer is yes. Course as a uh, course called Jerry Minor G D. So. The Healing Song is a song that Underwoy and I have been working on for a while now, and I think we're we're getting close to being pretty happy with it. Obviously, you know, Mundawai is a mate of mine. I was really concerned about his health and happiness. I like the sound of the music we make together, and I think that has a healing element to it as well, the music too. And that's why I believe that these fellas and their hits haven't stopped by any means. Yeah. 